second this week, y'all. Man, this is my song. Woo! It was a little church. Sitting down in the woods. But you know what? Yeah. And at this church, they had a choir that that could sing real well. But the easy driver stopped by to tell you there was a love you can have been going to that church for a mighty long time. Here's another thing I like about it. 
23 years with that. I mean, these are soldiers in the army. On the battlefield. Not only just in the army of this nation or, or, or however, the army of the Lord. And I thank God for you all. And I do salute. Come on, everybody. Salute. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Lord. Thank you all for your services and all that you have done. And all that you went out to do for our country. Not all of us, but everyone is here. And I thank God for you. Now, I do salute also to the men. Amen. 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 It's out there and standing strong. And uh, hopefully that this message here will help somebody along the way to encourage us to inspire us uh, along the way. And this is the reason why I want this song. And uh, as a matter of fact, when I asked him about this song, one of us today was listening to it this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. So everything is right on key. And I like to do things in the heart of God and uh, to get confirmation. And it was all confirmed uh, uh, with that to pour this song here for our men today. And, uh, um, and you can remain standing on your feet. All the women can stand up too. I want this song here along with the other great team. And this right here is in the honor of the men, soldiers, and, and uh, body, and also uh, for us, for our nation, as well as the men and the civilians. Amen. 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 And if you feel it, look, just let go of that God. Amen. Amen. Just let go of
beautiful. Listen to me. This is going to be helpful for you today and on out. 
assume your position as what God has purposed and called you to do. Man, I want you to first of all turn to uh, Ephesians, Ephesians uh, chapter 4. I mean, we're going to get a message today. And if you're not walking out of the show, but we're going to get a message today because I got Facebook. <laughs> Y'all been happy with this. We got Facebook. Ain't that good to know that we can spread this message all over now? And now is the time. And then uh, Ephesians chapter, what's it, Ephesians chapter 4. I think that's where I want to go at. Yeah, 4, 4. And we're going to read the first verse that Paul began to give up. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4. Amen. And I want to say amen. If we get angry, let's get angry enough to do something about it. Amen. 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 I, I got to preach it, y'all. This is what I would call it. Amen. amen. I got to do it. Uh, amen. And this is not a bad message. It's a great message. Amen. It's a great message. It's a great message. For me. Amen. Because we're losing our way. We're losing our way. Amen. All right, here we go in chapter 4, verse 1. Therefore, the prisoner of the Lord beseech I, oh, wait a minute, therefore, I don't the glasses there. Let me see you a little bit more. Give it a close to the Bible. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy, everybody say worthy, worthy. of the vocation, we'll call them, wherewith you are called. Yeah. Walk worthy of. Yeah. Amen? Amen. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Amen. And verse 3 said, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Yes. Amen. Could go through uh, the other now, give you a little bit of this. There is one body and one spirit. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, mm -hmm. one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Mm -hmm. I heard uh, the brother say uh, this uh, this morning, uh, this afternoon, whatever. He said he saw a sign that there's only one way. Mm -hmm. So true. Amen. Amen. Only one way to get to God. Amen. That's going about the Son, Jesus, the Christ. Amen. 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 We are definitely, truly, absolutely in harmony with that. Amen. Amen. See, we can harmonize that. Yeah. Amen. 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 There's only one way. one way. There is no other way. I know we've been trying other ways, and we've been trying this, and we've been trying that, and saying this is okay. It's a setup. Yeah. It is a setup. Only through and by Christ Jesus, yeah. you can get to the Father. That's right. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Amen. Stop listening to all this other stuff, but the unction that you received in the beginning when you got saved and born again, let him teach you of all things. Let not any man teach you anything. Y'all better hear this. Because you got people now that are turning and deviating from the truth. Because of this other doctrine that they got out here saying that this, the other doctrine was false. Amen. You know what you experience with God. Not only do you believe in him just because the word is written, but you believe in him because you have a relationship with him. You have him in your heart. Y'all better hear this. You have, you have intimacy with him. You have an intimate relationship with him. And nobody can change that. You can't. Can't take my praise. Are y'all still with me? Yes. Can I keep yes. going? Yes, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Great word. Turn to turn with me if you will. Amen. We're gonna get there in a minute. I told you I'm not gonna try to hold you long. We, we need a message because we're so far fetched from a message from the word of God. Amen. We've been hearing so many messages, but not the word of God. Right. We've been hearing so much so many things that have been sweetened up and watered down and everything else, and here it is, and we shout and we dance and we throw up hands and everything, but that don't mean anything if you don't have. Amen. Can I, can I preach? Amen. Okay, turn with me if you will, quickly, quickly. Y'all help me preach this when we get on that way. Amen. What did I say? Uh, uh, go to, um, go to, uh, uh, I'm going to help me, Jesus. Go to Matthew.
to use a, um, we're going to get our topic from this. So I'm pulling from one of the old, from another sermon that added, that God said add a second to it. And um, y'all know about the part ones and part twos and part threes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. There's always good. Sometimes they get better and better and greater and greater. And yeah. sometimes you find something that don't get no better. But in Christ Jesus, in the word of God, it only gets better. Amen. Everybody's as sweet as sweet as the day go by. Sweet as the day go by. Amen. More sweet than the honey go by. Come on, y'all, and help me up in here. Amen. Amen. The many have come to the threshold, to the threshold, and never crossed over. What do you mean? There are some that have heard the word of God. There are some who have enjoyed the word of God. There are some who have did it just for a while and for a moment. And guess what? And when hard times and things came and troublesome times came, they began to deviate and turn away from it. Uh -huh. All right. right. Amen. True. True. Because if you must apply yourself in the right. word as the word applied and abiding in you and remaining in you, yeah, yeah. then you are to let the word of God rest in you as you rest in the word. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. There's so many things. Be very careful of this stuff that's out here now. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I've been observing some of the um, some of the things that's on the YouTube as far as the pastors coming against pastors. The same thing that Saul did. Yeah. Paul did when he was Saul. Right. He attacked the churches. He began to uh, imprison men and women alike. He began to kill and he began to do all these things. But the Bible lets us know this. 16th chapter of John began to let us know that when these things come, they're doing this because they, even when they kill you, they're doing it because they need to know the Father and know the Amen. 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 Can you get a witness here? So be careful of all of this other stuff you're getting because there may be some things that you really want to hold on to that you don't want to give up or let go. Mm -hmm. But you have to give up everything for the Lord. Amen. And everything you give up for him, you shall receive back. Amen. And eternal life. Not only just receive that back, but uh, manifoldly. Amen. Can you hear the witness here? Amen. 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 And plus eternal life. That's the bonus. Amen. Amen. That's the big bonus. That's the part that we want. Yes, Amen. 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 He's talking about heaven. Amen. 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 Going to heaven. I mean, I want to go to heaven. Yes, Amen. That's the bonus. Amen. Can you hear the witness here? Amen. We need a word from the Lord. Amen. It's not just a word, but we need the yeah, word. We need a word from yeah. the Lord. We need to hear from God Almighty. Yeah. Too many things we're compromising. Too many things we're going along with. Too many things we're just uh, appreciating just because. And if it goes on such a long time, we still, we'll agree with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The word of God is not fading away, not going away, and God does not change. Can you get a witness here? And just because it's not being mentioned as, as frequent or, or rapid as we used to hear, don't mean that it's going away. It's still there. You can never say it's still there. God's where I'm God and I change not. Are y'all still with me? Stop trying to suit your own souls and your own selves and, and others. No compromise. No compromise. <laughs> Amen. I like it when we do it the right way. Man, man. Amen. Okay, what did I say? In Matthew chapter 26, we're going to give a little bit of this, and this right here was, um, and we're going to look at verse um, uh, 41, and this is when Jesus was, uh, again, he was um, in the garden of Gethsemane, and let's see, I guess it's what, and then, uh, um, as he took Peter, James, and John with him, as he went to go and told them to stand, so he go and pray. Yeah. And he told them to watch. Are y'all still with me? Amen. Amen. And the word of God began with 36, and Jesus coming with them unto a place called Gethsemane, um, Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray down there. Uh -huh. And he took him, he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Uh -huh. Then said unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here while and, and watch with me. I, I know some people will say that Jesus will pray for me or watch with me or I mean, pray for me or whatever. He doesn't need you to pray for him. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. He wanted them to pray for themselves and, and, and be watching for themselves. And and he went a little farther and fell. Everybody say fail. Fail. On his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, um, not as I will, but as thou will. Yes. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep. Everybody say asleep. 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 And this is where I want to give you the message from. Uh, I'm going to go to the other part. And he found them asleep. Amen. And but this is, I want y'all to keep with that word uh, uh, asleep. Uh -huh. Amen. And said unto Peter, 
What could you not watch with me one hour? You know this people can't even stand church one hour. Come on. <laughs> no sooner they get in church because they have the guy watching on Sunday, they have a watch on they ain't looking, they tagging everybody else. Oh, and they cannot even Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. When people get in the doors, they ready to go out of the door. A lot of people come to hear good singing. Right. After singing over, right. gone. And right. this is what they do. Right. Yeah. You're right. Amen. Amen. Right. Well, let me remind you, this, this church also is an undoubted truth church. Amen. Amen. It pulls out and pulls out a lot of things and calls out a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Amen. So don't, don't blame me. Yeah, don't blame me. So if anything anybody comes knocking at your door, it's not me. Y'all right. owe me anything, I owe you nothing. Therefore, I'm not coming at your door knocking and I'm not checking on you. So that's not my concern. My concern is that your soul being saved. Yeah. I'm doing all I can to bring you there. Yeah. Can you hear the witness here? Yeah. So therefore, if you hear, it's not me knocking at your door. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, can I tell you like it is? Some just come here to sing and after that, go on. Three. And tell it like it be a pastor. Amen. Amen. Y'all better help me with this. Amen. 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 Yeah. Until we get in trouble. Right. Until there comes a sickness, uh -huh. until there comes a disease, until there comes that there's something that's not right is that that's pattern up with our uh -huh. right living that we so call. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness here? Uh -huh. Then all of a sudden we get afraid. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. And we run. <laughs> Amen. Right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. you ain't have to go down. Don't blame me. I'm just a messenger. Amen. But why, uh, um, where am I? Help me, bro, baby. Help me out here. Read on, read on, read on. Watch and pray. Watch and pray, he said. That he enter not into temptation. Uh-huh. The spirit indeed is willing. Yes, indeed. But the flesh is weak. Go ahead, now. Go ahead. He you really want to know where you are? Just seeing what things you're going after the most, what things right. you're really, really paying close That's attention right. and the most attention to. This is your level of checking you to see where you are. Let every man begin to examine himself to see where he gives up the faith. Amen. Every man know it himself. So we need to understand if we're here, the level of <laughs> this is the flesh and this is spirit. And here it is. It seems like the flesh is way up here and the spirit way down there. So we, the whole objective in the Lord is that the flesh go way down here to put. Got to be crucified, and the spirit be risen up. We are here. Right. So yeah. when it does do that, it overwhelms everything that the flesh throws and comes after you and attack, and the devil throws and attack you with. The reason why, because guess what? I mean? The flesh is weak. Yes, it is. Yeah. Flesh is weak. Amen. Amen. Flesh is not subject to the law of God. That's right. That's Neither right. indeed will be, because God did that on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. He did it on purpose. Thank you, Lord. You just start giving uh, glory to the flesh. Yeah. That's why he did it on, on purpose. Yeah. Are y'all still with me? Read on, brother. Read. Read. We got to get through this. 22. He went away again. Again? The, sec the second time. The second time. And prayed, saying. And what did he say? Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Okay. Read on. And he came and found. found them asleep again. Uh oh, asleep. Everybody remember where to sleep? Well, their eyes oh, were yeah. heavy. Their yeah, eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again. Again. They prayed the third time. Third time, three times. Saying the same word. Same word. Go ahead. Then come and he to his disciples. Came to the disciples. And said unto them, Sleep on them. Sleep on them. And take your rest. And take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand. Mm -hmm. And the <laughs> Son of Man. Is betrayed into the hands oh, of sinners. sinners. Amen. How I many of you know that? Uh, um, you know that was one of the first messages that Jesus preached was repent you for the kingdom of heaven is what? Well. Yeah. Amen. 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 Now this hour is at hand that the Son of Man must be Amen. Amen. Go, uh, um, to be put to death. Amen. Can you get a witness? Amen. So Amen. the hour will come, but he told them to go ahead and sleep now. Amen. Let's get to this, and we're gonna get the message. We're gonna get this message, y'all. We're gonna be out your way in I know you. Amen. Go to uh, uh, Matthew chapter 13, if you will. And Jesus gave this parable. Amen. Uh, 13. My glasses are getting a little dull. I can't have so Can you see it? Yes, sir. And uh, begin with verse uh, 4. Yeah. 
came from verse 4. Amen. A long parable put Amen. eight forth into them. And when he sowed, some seeds fell back away. 24. 24. Uh -huh. Verse 24. Mm -hmm. 13. Mm -hmm. Amen. Another parable put the forth. Another parable put he forth Amen. unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed so good in, in his world. field. But what? But while men slept. Give your names about while men slept. While men, men slept. Man. His enemy came and sowed terrors among the wheat and went his way. Amen. Over right there. We're going to go back to that same verse in the beginning of the call, verse 25, and say, but wild men slept. Who can name against it, but wild men slept? Wild men slept. Say it again, but wild men slept. Wild men slept. Now look at them again and say, look, but while you were sleeping. While you were sleeping. <laughs> this is Simeon and infiltrated from the while you were sleeping and mm -hmm. he was sleeping, right? Yeah, right. This, this word on today is that don't fall asleep. I mean, look at that, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Men and women, right? Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. And I do believe that Jesus was talking to his disciples and, and giving them a message about falling asleep. All right. He did aware them, and he did say that the flesh is weak. Yes. Amen. The Spirit of God is strong. Amen. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes. Paul began to take it up, began to say that when I'm weak, then I am strong. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. And there was another message that was preached uh, during the Paul thing that uh, um, threw in by your weakness. That's when you're at your strongest, you're at your best. Yes. Everybody say, my strongest weakness, my strongest weakness is, in Christ. is in Christ. That's our My strongest weakness is in Christ. So when you're weak, then you are strong. Can I get a witness here? So therefore, we find ourselves begin to start falling apart when we find the flesh weak. Amen? This is going to be because the flesh is weak. Your strength comes from the Lord. Not from uh, of yourself. But from God. You're strong and you have strength because God. You have your movement. You have your breath of breathing. You have your being because of God. Can we get a witness here? It's not because that you're so strong and, uh, and here it is that the, uh, the doctors done such a good job. Amen. We thank and praise God for the doctors and they are here. They have the purpose. Right, yeah. If God said go to the doctor, go to the doctor. Right. To give you what it takes for the physical body. Yeah. Can we get a witness here? Yeah. Now, sometimes we get away off the uh, course and say, well, okay, I'm not going to the doctor and I'm going to do this and, and God can heal me. You're already healed in Christ. Oh, yeah. I know you're not waiting on the healing in Christ because look, we, and there's some they need a healing for this all. Amen. But if you are healed already in Christ, if Christ already did the finished work, then you're already healed in Christ. Amen. Amen. But whatever it takes for your physical body, it takes for your physical body. If you don't think so, stop eating physical food. You know? Amen. Stop eating the water. Die. Physically, you're going to die. I think we're, we're missing the thing of it. We, we're, we're getting so, how can I say this? We're getting so much into things which are so far fetched from the truth. And we're taking it, trying to apply to our living, and we're dying. You need food to live physically, you need water to live physically. Don't stop eating. Don't stop drinking. With it seven your own fast. Amen? If you're fasting, different. But only for a moment. Not a life of affliction, which is but for a moment, which worketh for us, right? Amen? A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Amen? So, in other words, it's working for us. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. 
Yes. Amen. I'm here, y'all, about four different sermon titles. Amen. Praise the Lord, but you can leave a lot of that up in here. Because it takes that every sermon <laughs> should be inclined with the other, and it should, uh, yeah. It should coincide. It's like a story. It should be. And I look at it out all, all the way since 93, praise be unto God. Everything that I preach from that time on up to now, everything coincides. Yeah, it's like a story. Amen. And I can tell you this, man, man, you can't do that. Only God can do that. Only the Holy Spirit can do that. Man can't do that. Man can't even keep up on track of what did what he did on yesterday. Right. So he cannot keep up what that many years ago up until now. Amen. Can I hear witness? So so here it is that we must understand some things as a man. Man has fallen. Amen. First man, Adam, right? That's right? And whatever infiltrated, whatever that came from him, we were born in sin, shaken in iniquity. Gosh. Can I get a witness here? Amen. And we, F-A-L-L, -L, sharp. Amen. We fall sharp. Not fair, but fall. Sharp. Amen. 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 Of the glory of God. Amen. We fall short. Fall short of the glory of God. God don't want our fleshly body. For thus thou art, thus thou shalt return. Nothing shall ascend unto heaven except that which came from or descended from him. You have a earthly body, you have a spiritual body. Amen. We're so busy trying to take care of the earthly body. Y'all been having me with this. Who's yeah. to try to save his life shall lose it. But who's able to save it for the sake of Christ and the gospel sake shall preserve it or keep it. Are y'all still with me? Amen. We're so busy trying to take care of our earthly body. But the Spirit of God is an earthen vessel. Amen. Stop trying to protect yourself. You know how sometimes we get and we're, we're afraid to say certain things and to be bold in the Lord? Right. Because we're afraid we're going to hurt somebody's feelings. Hurt them little old feelings. Hurt them little old feelings. You want. Do you love them? Yes. Hurt those little old feelings. <laughs> and I can't say that. They might not call me no more. They, they might. Do you not know you're going to be ostracized? You, I, I know you're not still trying to get somebody to like you and to connect with you in the flesh or the home way. It ain't gonna work because if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of And we're still missing it. We're trying to connect with the world. That's why there's so many that were brought up in the world, but guess what? Caught up in the world. And this is why they fail. It didn't just happen with us, it happened in the Bible. The rich young ruler. He was brought up in the world, but he was caught up in the world. What things are you banking on on tomorrow for? Not knowing whether tomorrow will be for you or not. You got to say if, it be God, if God be willing, on tomorrow I will do this and that. I think that we're getting so, we are so far-fetched out away from God that brings about so much anxiety in our lives because the Bible will be anxious for how much? Be anxious or careful for nothing. But all things with prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving Making your request known unto God. What things are you really, really praying for? Lord, I want me a bigger house. I want me another car. I want me some more money. I want to. In the end, but in the end, you die. Huh? Hello? In the end, you go. I give it to you this hour, and guess what? Then God says, okay, time to go home. Then what? For somebody to look back and with, with your prideful self to say that, yeah, he was a billionaire. Was. Was. We're nothing without God. Amen. And everything belongs to God. Amen. Your houses belong to God. And I thank God for that because I'm glad that I'm going there with him because God said I will give you houses full that you didn't need. I will give you wells that you didn't need. Can I get a witness? I will give you vineyards that you didn't even plant. And not only that did our father say, guess what else he said? He said, I will allow you to reap what you did not even sow. Y'all better help me with this. But don't get caught up in that. Heaven and earth 
shall pass away. But the word shall not pass away. You need to be trying to get full of the word and not of the world. Come on, y'all. Y'all wouldn't help me with this. And guess what happened? You didn't get the Oprah's on the ground, but you were looking for an example because, amen. She probably got the richest woman in the United States, probably. But however, when Oprah died, if Oprah would die, and you would die, and you weigh everything out, which one weighs the most? Thank you, my pastor. Everything that Oprah has possession of right now and not utilizing it, it will be there back here for somebody else to use it that will use it with potential. You're paying for a lot of money. For what? Get a billion dollars today and guess what? And die tomorrow. What? That's to say, okay, well, the, even, even the travelers was billionaires. And what? They gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, where's the money? They didn't take it with them. <laughs> naked, you coming to the world naked, you're going out. So, who really yeah. worth more than the other? Nobody. Nobody. Right, right, right. Except you're in Christ because you have it all. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that the Father has belongs to his children. Yeah. You are as with God and join as with the Son, Jesus the Christ. Everything belongs to God. The earth is the Lord, the fortress, and all the world, and all they that dwell in Him belongs to Him. It was lent to you. Don't build your world around it. Because wherever your treasures are, that's where your heart is. And guess what? If it's built on this earth and these natural things of this nature, guess what? When Christ calls you, you ain't going to want to go. You're going to say, Christ, give me a little bit more time. I, I won't even enjoy this for a year. Give me another. Give me a little bit more time. I just got it. I, I did have it, but I never done anything with it. So let me enjoy. No, your time is up, baby. And who gets it? You don't know. And maybe somebody's going to look, yeah, exhausted all in one hour. Wow. All right. You don't know, but you think that you know. Yeah. You don't know, but it's left back here who it's going to go to and whoever it goes to. Yeah. Are y'all going to help me? I'm just trying to ease and relieve some of you and some of your minds because you're thinking that you're doing this and you're doing that and I'm building up for this. No, you build up toward the kingdom. You build the kingdom of God. And you utilize whatever you got. The resources that you have for the building of God's kingdom, not for yourself. Tearing down small boys and building up greater boys so you can put all that you got in and then begin to talk to your soul and tell your soul, we have much laid up for many, many years to come. We can eat, drink, and be there. I'm here to tell you, God will call you in that night and he will ask you a those things belong to. I told y'all this is the um, um, truth of ministry, right? Amen. Amen. We, we're in the wilderness. We're like that little church that's sitting back up in the wood. And we don't, we don't get a whole lot of folk that just dropping by. Amen. This is not that broad and wide way. Amen. 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 And, and we're not looking for that. We're looking for real true souls and, and real men that's in the army of the Lord. Amen. 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 Huh? Amen. 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 But man has fallen. Man has fallen so far down that I understand why the Bible said, but Pastor, that the righteous just scarcely. Make it in. Why was that saved? Because everyone that thinks that they're already at the door gets right there to the threshold and never walks it over. They never crossed over. They got at the threshold. They never consummated the marriage with the Savior, Jesus Christ. You ain't even married to Christ until you cross over the threshold.
Amen. This message is while men slept. Now, in parenthesis, don't fall asleep. Men have been falling asleep in their homes with their children and with their families. That song said this means war. And this is what there is, yeah. Men are under attack. And Amen. yes, yes, by the devil, because guess what? He wants to get to the stronghold. Yes. If he can get to the stronghold, I know we have we have the women that goes out and they go and they make the uh, uh the services and they don't miss anything, and men sit back, okay, you go this time, I'm gonna stay home. And the, the devil is after stronghold because he comes to blind the mind of the unbelievers and, and this is what he's doing he's trying to get into your head let the women and this is nothing against the women let them lead that's not how God planned that to be that's not even in the plan amen man was made for God Woman was made for man. Although God does, he reverses what he did in the beginning. That's what now men come from woman. But the origin of God's plan at all was that woman came from man. God saw man lonely. Animals and everybody had companionship. She said, you live with animals? No. I'm, I'm going to take I'm going to rephrase, rephrase that. Take it back. <laughs> they needed a mate. <laughs> and he looked at man, man and have no help meet. That's right. Amen. I don't use the term help mate, but God, the words of help meet. Amen. Amen. But one that helps you to make ends. Amen. Come on. Come on. I like that. I tell y'all can help me. Amen. So, therefore, man is a provider for his family. And he goes to make provision for his family. Now, if the woman desires, I might desire to take on a career, guess what? She did good. Amen. She didn't have to work. Yeah, we spoke. We went through things like starting off and all the other things. Well, that's a good thing. Well, yeah, well, we, did. we got closer to the Lord. <laughs> we spoke. And guess what happened? But it was a good struggle, and we laughed about it. And guess what happened? The same people that come and turn the lights off, guess what happened? You better come around back and turn them on. And the same one that come right back and turn them on. How they do, I mean, how God do, we don't question that. So man can't get no glory, man. I don't want to cause them to turn out. You didn't cause nothing. God did it. <laughs> you just want to couldn't help yourself. And guess what? God will take your enemies and make them the first two. You just want to in the way. God said, I'm going to use you because I know you're looking for glory. And guess what? And he ain't going to give you now because he knows me. You did. Yeah, if it wasn't for me, the lights would still be off. No, the lights still would shine. And that's why you can't turn off. Amen. Yeah, right. <laughs> the eternal light. You can't turn it off. Amen. Amen. I think we got a problem by trying to please and to appease the people. That's what we're doing. I thank you so much. We pretty much bow down to them. And if you're not the right man, you know what that You'll sit there and, and soak it all in. Yeah, I do my best. And I, you haven't done anything. But that's got in the way of God, and God used you to bless me. Now, I thank God for you, and then he blesses back your way. I ain't going to praise you. You ain't my God. Because God said he will provide everything that I have need of, and necessity. My necessity, according to the rich and glory of heaven, God will and God has done exactly what He said. Yeah. How He did it, I didn't want to. I'm just here to testify. Yeah, life started out right. Turn my come. We laugh about it. Yeah. Amen. 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 But we needed that in order to get to where we are today. 
Amen. We wouldn't have the faith that we have today if we never been through it. Go back here, all these people talking about, yeah. Uh, God called me to do this and God called me. You know what my question is, right? I mean, you know what I'm saying, right? I want to see your stars. What have you been through? Have you been through that? I don't even want to hear nothing. You said, you're not talking. You're not talking. God told us out of the furnace of affliction, not out of your glorious life that you think so. Well, how much you got? You know, I never did much. I never seen much because I never really done much because look, I never cussed. And they go down the line. Look, they got a list of it. Back there laughing at me. And, then, and they got a list. I never drink. I never did drugs. And they can go a long list. And guess what happened? It sickens my stomach. <laughs> we all have seen him fall short of the glory. Who are you? You were the better one saying you did something that I didn't do. But you see it. Stop bringing people down and trying to save the souls of the people. Jesus said, I did not come to condemn, but I came to save. Yeah. Everybody, you see, here it is. Yeah. You, see, you see what our brother ain't had on today? Uh -huh. Them shoes are not church shoes. <laughs> That's church shoes. That sounds like in the back. I mean, what, what is church shoes? I mean, we just bring them all kinds of things. We just developing and we just bring it up and we just getting the other. <laughs> Sadducee spirit. Yeah. And it's wide open, boy. They go hammering you with a word and they ain't even living none of it. They will not be going to heaven because guess what happened? They ain't going. They ain't trying to get in there. Them fellas, that's it. Look, we're trying to get down. Amen. 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 Keep following those spirits, crying Pharisees and Sadducees and what will happen to you. You better be converted like Paul was. Amen. Come on. Come on now. Can I get away? Y'all, I'm about, I'm about to get here. I know y'all ain't. Y'all ain't marrying me right now. Can, can I? Something I got to tell you. But watch this. But while men slept, his enemy. Yeah. Come on now. His enemy. You mean to tell me I got an enemy? Yes, sir. Come on now. His enemy. Not your enemy, but his enemy. He just wanted the devil pointed for you and a sign for you. Just for you. Just for you. Because you know what you like. He know the P-R-I-D-E is in you, so therefore he know exactly what he need to send you. Right. You know the pride is all over you. You know you're arrogant and you're so arrogant or have so much arrogant that you're self-centered and you that turns to self-righteousness and you're right about everything. Y'all gonna help me preach up in here. Look, and you're right about everything but wrong about what? How much? You're wrong about nothing. That's why you speak so quick. Amen. To be slow to uh, speak and quick to hear. Now let me tell you what a wise man. Let me give you a definition of a wise man. A wise man will hear and increase his burden. Come on, man. That's the word. And a man who understands that attains a wise counsel. So if I come to you, don't come talk to me to death before I can get, give you some good advice. Right, right, right. You're going to miss out on what God gave me to give to you. Because right, right, right. you already got the answers yes, to whatever. Right. That's why you're still perishing. Yeah. For my people perish for the lack of knowledge of what they don't know. And it will destroy you. It's that pride is killing a lot of folk that mean well. They got all the answers and they have no answers as they should. Come on now. Yeah, this is the way you do this and this is how you would do this. I ain't hear nothing from the Holy Spirit. <laughs> They're gonna put it their way. This is how we do it. Keep on this is how we do it. And not doing it God's way and see what happens. Are y'all sick with me? But but while me and Slap, his enemy. His enemy. His enemy. Yes, sir. Amen. Don't think you ain't got no enemies. But while me and slept, his enemy came and sold tares among the wheat and went his way. Amen. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, yes. then appeared the tares also. Uh -huh. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, is not thou so good seed in that field? Uh -huh. From whence or from where? Then had it changed. That's right. Where did it come from? Amen. The enemy came and did it. Watch yeah. what he said. And this is Jesus giving the parable, right? Yeah. He said unto them, an enemy had done this. Mm -hmm. The servants said unto him, so they ready to go to this mean water. Yeah. They ready to go to war. Right. Amen. Will thou then that we go and gather them up? Shall we go and take care of them? But he said, nay, lest while you gather up the tares, 
you root up also the wheat yeah, in them, with them. Uh -huh. both. Yes, sir. Well, come Go on. Go together until the harvest. You what? I mean, on the harvest. You what? Harvest coming, bro. It's a little yeah. Both, bro, here. Yeah. yeah. I better talk about that. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Let the flesh and the spirit. Yeah. yeah. Let the earth and the spirit cross. Yes, sir. The spirit that you have. Yes, sir. That's what says body, soul, and spirit, right? Let the soul, I mean, let the spirit and let the flesh. Yeah. Go to God. Yes. God will do the separating. I think we have a problem by right, standing, running people down, talking about them, and talking about what they're not doing and what they're doing, and we're trying to correct them. No, but the household have told them no. Yeah. Let them both grow together. Yeah. And when harvest comes, uh -huh. harvest time. Huh? God will separate the right from the wrong. Yes. God will separate the wheat from the yes. tan. Yes. Mind you, that guess what? The earth is not going, this is going back to the earth. It's earth already, so earth going back to earth. Dirt yes. going back to earth. Yes. God don't want no earth. That's right. Amen. Yes. Earth can't, it won't survive in heaven. Because yes. there's nothing good in it. Yes. See, y'all thought I was saying something, right? Yes. Ain't nothing good in earth. Huh? God don't want nothing corrupted. And nothing will be corrupted in heaven. That's the reason why you got to die to self. And we're afraid to do that because we're so big trying to protect ourselves. We eat today, we worry about what we're going to eat tomorrow. Y'all never seen that? You done made a God out of your belly, and this is scripture, y'all. You have. You're eating right now, and you have your mind on what you're going to eat tomorrow. <laughs> you know, the, the Bible said that you have made a God, your, your belly out of a God. And you're serving your belly. What I can eat, what I can eat, what I can eat. Now, watch this. I mean, y'all, somebody just brought up. Because Jesus said, don't worry about what you. For you. That's right. Do you take care of the father? Yes. Yes. You know that he take care of you. That's yes. right. What is man that thou mindful of him, the son of man that thou visitest him, that he right. made him just a little more than the angels? Yes. And he crowned him with glory. Yes. Yes, he did. You're God's masterpiece, and you don't think God care enough for you That's right. to go against what he told you that I will make provision for you? Yeah. You think that God would go back on his word? He's a man, and he should not lie, nor the son of man, he shall repent. Yeah. That's right. Had he said it, shall he not bring the pain? Shall he not do it? Yeah, yes, that's the word. So why are you worried about these things? It's going to pass away. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Don't mess with the tans. Let them grow together. Amen. Because once you get connected with the Spirit of Christ, yes. and that unction that you have received from the beginning, let no man teach you anything. You have a relationship with him. So when all of this false stuff comes up, you already set. You ain't fall, following or uh, uh, falling for the stuff that's coming out of these people's mouth, man. Because I would ask the question, how long have you been born again? And you tell me, if you tell me that long, and then you're, you're being chained and converted over to something, a new doctrine? Right, right, true. If any man come preaching another doctrine other than this doctrine here, let him be a curse. And, and you haven't learned that over the years you've been born again, then guess what? That's why you perishing. <laughs> For my people, parents, for they didn't get it. That's right. Why is the word of God being held back? And we are more into performing yeah. who we are yeah. than living. That's right. <laughs> We're trying to convince somebody about what we do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Right. Yeah. It's never becoming the word. Something yeah. I say. Come on, man. You have to become. Yeah. Because God is reversing 
what he did in the beginning. When he created man, he created man in his image. Keep that in mind. But when he formed man, he formed man from the dust of the ground. Amen. You have a spiritual man, you have an earthly man. That which is of the earth is earthly. It's going back from where it's that which is spiritual is of the Lord. Yes. That's why there were two Adams. First Adam, second Adam. Amen. First Adam was from yes. he was a living soul. He became a living soul. Yes. Second Adam, quick in the spirit that came from. <laughs> now, our spirit is to be inclined and to coincide with Christ's spirit. Amen. That's why we're born again. Stop accusing people on what they did before they were born again. Come on now. Amen. Come on, you're no longer that person. So you're talking about, you talking about, that, you talking about old man? Amen. And, and that's the message God had given me before. Get rid of that old man. Amen. 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 We're still judging people on what the old man did. Yes. Yes. Old man messed up. But guess what? This is new man. Popular and common 
that so many people there can say today and have no bishop so and so today. And it's crazy, it's pathetic. And I know this is not the Bible. Yes, right. Amen. 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 Yeah, I went to school with theology and I went and studied and I did this, that, and the other. And now they want to be, yeah, archbishops and everything. Are y'all still with me? Amen. And this, I'm not trying to ridicule anybody. I'm just trying that hopefully that somebody will hear this and just, as, as the Lord says, slow down, come close and listen. And hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. We need to understand some things because that this office. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Oh, look, he's a wrap. You have a tax at all times. Right, Pastor? Right? Not all times. Right? Not all times. Not sometimes. All times. You're always being attacked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why you got to stay in the Word. You got to meditate day and night. You got to keep your focus. You can't let. I don't care what crowd you're with. Don't remember. You're still at work. Amen. You're still at work. Right. Oh, Lord, I don't even want to mention him. He's talking about Jesus again. You're still at work. Amen. Amen. Still at work. Don't let the opportunity pass by you. Amen. Lord, we can't even have a good time, but here it is that Jesus stuff. Look, you're still at work. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yeah. Merton and Joseph looking for Jesus, and here it was, and they got caught up in the crowd with the feast. And Jesus was missing, they looking for him, and guess what? When they found him here, I know they were excited about They got him, and here it was, they were all upset. Now, where have you been, Jesus? Don't you know I'm about? My father did. While they were feasting, yeah. having such a great time. Yeah. Not a bad thing, but guess what? They missed out on their son. Didn't know he was there. Amen. That's right. Jesus won't lose. That's right. Amen. Jesus was not lost. Jesus had work to do. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Jesus had words to speak. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And the words that he spoke began to bow down to his face. The forward action in, in, in truth and hearing. Amen. Jesus has something to do. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes, you know, the lay people want to just, I don't want to retire for the day. My day is and we want to enjoy our sin. Don't call me to your party. Amen. Don't call me. I might mess you up. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you're doing, I might get all over. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I tell you, I can't miss that opportunity because guess what? I don't know when we might need you. And it might be your time. Y'all yeah. see what I This is a call to do. Call to action. This is a called up to soldiers know how it is and they train to do what they do. Now, I don't know how true this is, but is it true that the soldiers back in the day, way back in World War I, however, said you had soldiers that's supposed to be guarding and watching over for the other soldiers if he falls asleep or the other soldiers get rest, all they need to do something couldn't afford. If I'm watching, I'm the watcher and watching old fur here. And here I am asleep. Everybody did. Everybody did. That's why you can't fall asleep. I believe that Jesus was saying something. I know he was saying something to his disciples. He came back on the third time and he found him sleeping. He told him to sleep on him. Now, take your rest. He had already told them that the flesh was weak. Spirit is strong. You get a chance to examine yourself to determine where you are, whether you're weak or strong in the spirit. Amen. So here it is that he found him asleep the third time. Sleep on him. And then here comes to this story. Here that he was that the servant wanted to take care of the enemy that came and sold wheat. I mean, tearing the wheat. But the householders said, no, leave me alone, let him go again. Reason being because do you not know that you can hurt the wheat by trying to pull out tear? Amen. Y'all better hurt. Hit me with this. You are hurting the wheat. 
by snatching out. You don't know how to harvest the field. That's what God has to do. Separating. We gather and we glean the harvest. Amen. But let God be God. Yeah. Every man be what he's supposed to be, what God purposed him to do. Yeah. And stop trying to be God. Yeah. Stop judging. If you've been judging in the past, Romans chapter 14, if you've been doing this, and guess what happened? This no longer do it. Let every man be persuaded in his own mind. Leave him alone. Stop judging him. But invite him. Share with him. Love him. Show love to him. And guess what? And he, if he stays with you, then he wants something. You're going to win over the soul. Can I get a witness? But if he don't stay there, then guess what? He don't want to be saved no one. Can I get a witness? But don't compromise and get in the bandwagon with him or her. I'm talking to me. You don't compromise. You don't indulge in what they are doing to appease or to please them. You don't do that. But God, this is my child. Huh? God said, all y'all belong to me. I'm your creator. You don't think I love him or her better than you do? Amen. Can I get a witness? And when you find yourself, sometimes you're going to have, it's going to be controversy. Amen? Especially when it's something that they really, really want and they don't want to let go of right now. That's right. Yeah. But you are afraid uh -huh. that they're going to stop calling you. Uh -huh. You're afraid they ain't going to speak to you no more. I guess we have the problem. to pray. Yeah. You know what you raised them and brought them up in. Yeah. They can get caught up. They can be brought up in the word, word uh -huh. but caught up in the world. That's right. Amen. The Bible lets you know that. Yes, sir. The enemy is trying to destroy families. Yeah. He's trying to tear them apart. Uh -huh. And if everything is going A-OK at 100 with your family, guess what? You better stay. They ain't what the word is. There will be trouble. Everything. There's going to be some tough stuff. There's going to be daughter against mothers and fathers against sons. There's going to be all that because this is what Jesus said. If everything is A-OK, -okay, you better check yourself. Are you compromising? Are you going along with them with something that's wrong? Then you don't love them. Yeah. You love them, you want them to go to heaven. And you want them to know the truth. And you're going to give them the truth. And you're going to stand on it and stand firmly on it. And you ain't going to compromise. Keep thinking you got such a great relationship going on. Yeah, you compromise. Yeah, you can have no problem. Because look, get the soul saved. And it starts with your household. The enemy is after your seed. He's after your seed. He's after your children. He can't touch you. He said, I got the way. I got it. I'll get it. I'll attack the seed. He couldn't touch the woman in the wilderness. So the flood up in there, the flood out of there. God opened up her. The water went in. Right. He couldn't touch the woman. He said, I tell you, but I can't touch her. But I'll go out to the sea. Watch this. He went out to Jesus. This is all this right here is telling you. That revelation brought into my Christ. He couldn't handle Jesus. So he said, yeah, I'll go out to the sea. I go out to your seed. And this is exactly what he's doing. Amen. Amen. He's after the seed. Amen. 
Amen. What does Jesus say? His word. He's trying to keep everyone from hearing what the Spirit is saying to the church. Because he knows without a word, you're going to perish. He already got you. Amen. So I'm speaking to the man today. Yeah. And this is a call to action. A call of duty. I already know y'all was coming for this. That's why the men outweigh the women today. Y'all say it's not a normalcy, right? It's not normalcy. It's not normal, so it's not a normalcy, so it's strange, right? Amen. What do I do, man? Let the men stand up again. <laughs> Amen. Give them a great hand of applause. Amen. Now I want I want the men to say this to the women. Where are the women? Where are the women? Where are the women? How did this happen? Men outgrow the women. Because this message is thorough, purposely for the man. Because if the man get it right for this household, come on. Because that when the enemy comes and attack, if he can bind up the stronghold, he can take all of his fault. He got everything. I'm saying to the men, stay strong in the Lord. Stay strong. Don't compromise with it. And look, even if you have some kind of little, uh, little uh, stand or whatever, and a disagreement or whatever, and she says, I'm sleeping on the couch, tell her, well, you make room for me because I'm sleeping on the couch too. And <laughs> <laughs> women stop me down. <laughs> well, I'm going upstairs. I'm going upstairs too. Well, I tell you what, I, I'm just going, I'm going for a ride, but we're going to ride together. It's time for men to wake up and sleep, right? right. Huh? Wake up. Right? Get up. Stand up. And man up. And assume. That word assume. Not in the sense of assumption. But this word assume means to take fully, total responsibility of your Position. Let me see the soldiers stand. Let me get a stand, man. I'm learning from Sergeant G. How you get a stand? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me, let me see you do the about face. About face. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say for a month, but you're going to fall over. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Amen. At ease then. Right. What's Sergeant G at? Staff Sergeant G. You lay a minute through. You were Staff Sergeant G. Two Staff Sergeant two step. What about you, my man? Start what? We got all of that in here. Y'all stand up. Come here. Come, 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 come here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Look at here. Come on down here, Sergeant G. I want y'all to see these men of honor. Look, look. Now you're looking at over about, about almost 70 years right here. Retirement together, all together as a unit. As a let me see. As a unit. As a let me call it out. Let me talk to you. Let me see if I get it. Uh, as a uh, um let's see. I can't call it another name. Y'all talk to me. Okay. Uh, look, look, as okay, this say you uh, company. Company. See, back in the day, they call company. A hey, company, D, and all that kind of stuff. See, see so I'm TV is trying to teach me some of that stuff. I listen, I listen. Because, see, I take everything that is of this, uh, uh, of this world and nature that all that God allows us to do here as a figurative of that which is in the spirit. Because this is what we are, we can see this. Everybody's not operating in the spirit. So when we can see this physically and it's figurative of what it is in the spirit. So these guys here, these men give charge. 
But they didn't just walk in the military giving no charge. Tell them how you got there. Start with you. Basic training. The fundamental. You got to get right there, square up in it. AIT. AIT, okay. And what's the explain AIT? AIT is when you get your MS training for you specialize in the job. In other words, that qualifies him. Right? To do what you do. A call. A call to do. And they, a call of action and a call of do. They get right. A call, a call to action and a call of do. Talk to me. Right, give me an order. Let me see that. Let me see. So I'm talking to something. Give me an order. Ready, ready. Y'all hear this? 
You was called to do work because we all should be judged according to our work. Have you got any work in? So we need to put our work in. Are y'all still with me? Let us go out and reach these souls and stop running them down and try to reach these souls. These ones that we're calling sinners, guess what? You won't born saved. That's right. Amen. 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 Well, there, I said you were born saved. <laughs> and you say you were born saved, you just call God a lie. Right. God a lie. <laughs> and we all fall. Yeah. Fall. Fall short of the glory of God. I didn't say do it in repetition. You do something, you repent of it. You make a spill, you clean it up. Yes. Clean up your mess. Yes. Amen? Yes. Don't keep repeating. and re Don't do it in repetition. Keep going over and over and over. Everything you do in practice, what happens? You become what? It becomes perfect. You become it. The more you practice it, the more you become it. So in other words, if that's what you do, just stop it. Just that. Now, is there anyone, first of all, that don't know the law about the pardon of your sin when you come to this altar? The doors are open. Not only the doors of the church is open, the doors of heaven. When you come. When you come. This will be the greatest and best and the most uh, perfect sin you ever made in your entire life, if you're not. Amen. Here, you may not be used to this. You see a pastor that goes to get radical and he, he dances and he prays with everybody else. He don't sit back and all sophisticated. And No, no, there's no pride here. God hates a proud look. Amen. I'll look just as ugly in the face as I can look if I can wear a soul. Pause before I become all things about all means I can save some. To win them over, let them know that I have not always been saved. Amen. And yes, and to let them know, yes, I fall short. Yeah. And let them know that, yes, I have to repent daily. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. 